You know, there's one thing about Spider-Man that has always felt a bit strange to me. He got bitten by a radioactive spider, and after that his entire body gained spider-like abilities. That means he should be able to stick to any objects with any part of his body, right? But here's where things don't quite make sense. How does he still manage to climb walls while wearing gloves and shoes? I mean the whole point of his power is that his skin can stick to surfaces, like how Sam Raimi's Spider-Man showed those tiny microscopic hairs coming out from Peter's fingertips that grip onto walls. That makes sense because it's direct skin contact. And if we assume those micro hairs exist all over his body, then it explains moments like in Into the Spider-Verse, where Miles' face and body stick to paper when his powers first activate. But now comes the real question. When Spider-Man wears his full costume, there's obviously a layer of fabric between his skin and the wall. So how is he still able to stick? Okay, let's say his suit material is thin enough that it doesn't block his powers, that makes sense for his hands, but what about his feet? Because he clearly wears proper boots, not just socks or thin fabric. Like in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, remember that scene where he catches those chemical bottles with his feet while hanging upside down in the truck? How do regular shoes stick to anything like that? Does he have some kind of special tech built into them that channels his sticking ability through the soles? Or is this just one of those movie logic moments we're not supposed to question? What do you think, is there a scientific explanation behind it, or is it just pure cinematic magic? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.